Hello guys, welcome to our art lesson this week. If you're watching this, it means that you've been doing an amazing job in Seesaw. You've been getting your work done and we are so proud of you. So today we're just going to go ahead and learn how to draw a pinata. So obviously you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, some markers, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to draw the body of our pinata. It's going to be a nice big shape. And I would start with some lighter pencil lines here. It might help later when we're building the pinata. And it's just going to be a nice long shape, kind of like this. Nice rounded rectangle. Doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, it's art, okay? It doesn't have to look just like mine. This is going to be the body of our pinata, okay? But our pinata needs some legs. So we're going to start on the corner here. And we're going to give them just a little nub and legs like this. Doesn't have to be fancy. You know, and you can come back in and fix your lines if you don't like them. I think lines look cool when they overlap. Gives it interest. Okay. And we know that pinatas have more than one leg. So we'll add another leg behind it. Just peeking out behind. Okay, this is the body of our pinata. We're going to add the back legs. Remember, this is probably one of the hardest parts. So don't worry if your pinata's legs look a little funky, they're a little short, if they're a little long, it doesn't matter. See, mine aren't the same. They're, they're not perfect. And add another pinata foot in the background here. Okay, we've got a little pinata feet. Maybe you want to give them like some little shoes. I don't know, whatever you want. Remember, it's your pinata. I do not care. Okay, so we have a body of our pinata. We better give our pinata a neck, right? We want to do a cute little pinata. So we're going to start maybe right here. Go up. And we're going to connect it just a little bit. Don't make the lines meet yet. And then we're going to go ahead and try to draw our pinata head. So you can start with a nice big circle. Nice and light, okay? Don't go in too hard with the colors. With the line, okay? You can even come back and erase this later if you have a pencil. And we're going to draw a nice line out like this. Give our little pinata a face, a little snout. You can make this line thick. Remember, you can always make lines thick or thin, whatever you like. And sometimes you can go back and erase, like Miss Picard just erased. I didn't like that so much. So, make the little neck a little longer. Okay. And our pinata should have some ears. Our ears are like these little orbs up here. Kind of like a leaf shape. It's like we're drawing a leaf. And give our little pinata a head. We put the other leaf ear behind. Just like that. You can do the inside of the ear. And remember, your pinata can have all sorts of different ears. Maybe you want your pinata to be kind of like looking like a dog. And I have ears that kind of come down like this. Here. I don't mind. You can do ears like that. You can do pointy ears at the top. Like that. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to do ears just like my pinata. You can do all sorts of different ears. You could do heart ears. And the other one would look like this behind it. Okay, maybe you want to do heart ears. <laughs> it's just whatever you want on your pinata. It's your art. That's why I like art. Okay, so our pinata has some ears. It's time to give our pinata an eye. And I might come in lightly and take away some of these lines here that might have been in pencil. So let's give our pinata an eye. And we can have all sorts of different eyes if we want. Remember, just like Miss Vakara said with our cat drawing. Like, I'm going to give my pinata... A nice round eye with just a little eyeball in the corner here but you could do all sorts of eyes you could do an eye like this or you could do an eye could do an eye like this where it's nice and dark and then you add some sparkles in some like anime type eyes here so lots of lashes we don't know it could just be a dot right it could be, uh, what other kind of eyes? It could be like a door. And then a big eye like this. 
and some bottom lashes if you want. Doesn't matter. I know that your pinata is going to have really cool eyes. All right, so just whichever eyes you choose. Remember, you can pause the video if you like an eye that I drew so you can draw it on your pinata. I'm going to give my pinata a nose. And your nose can obviously look however you want. That's the fun thing. You can give them a mouth if you want. You can choose where to put the mouth. Maybe you want the mouth here. Maybe you want it down here. Doesn't matter. Uh, maybe you don't even want a mouth at all. I might not even to put a mouth. So just whatever you want. You can give your pinata a mouth. Doesn't matter. If you want, we can do some like streamers here. But if you don't like that, we don't have to do that. Actually, let's go ahead and do the kind of like the paper uh, layers on the pinata. So anywhere you want on your pinata, this is what it could look like. It looks like a long straight line, a little door, a straight line, a little door like this. You can do that as many times as you want just to give the illusion of, you know, those little paper layers that pinatas have. Do it over here. Okay, looking good. Look at this little pinata. It's looking so good. And remember, it doesn't have to look just like mine. If you don't want to add the frills, you don't have to add the frills. This is just how I'm drawing my pinata. And on the edges here, it kind of comes up and it overlaps. And that makes it look really interesting, like it's 3D. See, I'll show you down here. I bring it out a little, then I pull it back in and do my little doors, straight line, door, straight line, door. So here's what my pinata is looking like. We have those little frills everywhere. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Maybe one on its face. Okay, I like how my pinata is looking. It's okay if your pinata doesn't look just like mine, guys. I bet your pinata looks amazing. I really do. So. Let's see, we could give our pinata a little tail. I'm gonna give mine a funny little tail. You could do a long tail too. Or like a horse tail, if you wanted to do like a horse tail. That's fine too. What do you want on your pinata? Do you wanna give it a hat? Maybe it has a party hat on? Yeah, happy party. Maybe it has uh, some little pinata wings. I don't know. What do you guys like? Does it have a little halo? Does it have some uh, shoes? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you guys like on your pinata. This is just what my pinata looks like. The fun thing about drawing a pinata is they all look so cool and they look so different. So now we can color. And pinatas are usually bright colors, lots of bright colors, but it's your pinata. If you think that your pinata should be black and white then make your pinata black and white i'm gonna give my pinata different colors maybe some yellow or some orange just because i love those colors i'll just give my pinata these in stripes but it could be tie-dye okay it could be uh, all sorts of whatever you want your pinata to look like i'm serious it doesn't have to look like mine the fun thing about art is it's just fun. It makes you happy. And yeah, sometimes maybe you you get worried that your art isn't good enough or you're not a good enough artist, but it's all about practice. The more you practice, the better an artist you will be. And I promise that it's really just about how much time you draw. You will get better and better. And you should be proud of yourself for trying because it's hard to try new things. It's hard to be bad at something. Because when we're bad at something, we just kind of want to give up. But when you keep trying, and you keep going, and you think, well, you know, I'm not very good at this now, but I think one day I'll be better. You're 100% right. You will be better one day. But it takes the practice to get there. So I'm not even doing it in a pattern. I'm just kind of throwing down colors as I see fit, just because I love colors. I like having lots of color. Especially for a pinata drawing. We have to have a very colorful pinata. I think the face should be 
Oh, you have a little yellow base. Okay. And then maybe some more purple. I love purple. Okay. I might give my pinata some white for their eyes. And maybe I want my little pinata's feet to be bright yellow. I think that would be good. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, the bright colors really make this fun, huh? Might even come in with a little more yellow here. Yeah, I love colors, guys. I love mixing color. So fun. Let's give this a little more vibrant blue. And look at this. Look at your beautiful pinata. And maybe you want to do something like this, actually, on the face. <laughs> Svakara, what are you doing? Maybe you want to do something like this. You could do like a little ring around the eye up here. Do you like crazy colors on the face? That's just fun, you know? You just That's kind of what art is. You just sit down and you're like, oh, what could I do? How can I make this fun? I didn't plan that. I just think that's fun. Give it a little blue nose. Perfect. That just makes me happy. This pinata makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. And remember, we want to sign our names in the corner because guess what? You're going to be famous one day. So we need to have a record of when you did this amazing artwork. And put the year too because you're going to forget one day. And look at this. Pat yourself on the back. You just made a beautiful pinata. Have a great three-day weekend, boys and girls.